for our so-called descendants. Even the so-called pups are named after paganism, right? like Janice, so-called January 1st. Right? They got the so-called New Year coming in in the middle of the night, in the middle of the winter when everything is in. That's another pagan holiday that they got out here that's not biblical. It's according to the paganism of the nations. And Janice was at God with the four heads, meaning that she came in different attitudes. And guess what? A lot of you black women and white women got that Janice in you. Because your, your vibration is like that. One minute you're happy, the next minute you're evil, the next minute you're sick. That's what Janice is. So a lot of your attitude. Uh, so-called women that's in America plus the so-called black woman he, he got these spirits on you from these pagan gods. You see what it says here? In other words, the festival of Marcus was celebrated in battle. It was a custom, it says, during the five days it lasted for masses to be subject to their servants, and one of them ruled the house, served was called Donuts. See that? During the festival of Babylon and many of the uh, uh, other observances kept among ourselves during Christmas came from this very same Wolga. See that? This purple old servant was called Zonas, the man of sports of watching this. See that? And so that purple robe that you see on this form in Revelation, that's where that custom came from, from the Babylonians. So when the Romans took over, that purple robe came from that color of that custom. That's why the Lord said, purple, what? Scarlet color piece? Because scarlet is, is equal to what? The purple that you see on the robes during the time of Babylon. They wore these garments and they wore these, they did these customs according to what? Paganism of Rome. It's written right here in this guidebook. took on the customs 
and fooled everybody thinking that he was a Christian. And the word Christian means the anointing. Who the anointed Mashiach of, of the Most High? The Israelites. Who are the saints? Psalm 50 and 5. Exodus 24. Exodus 24. Well done. Well done, Israel. That was made a covenant with the Most High by what? The sacrifice. We were the only nation that was given the laws to do that. So the white man was not who he says he is. So they were the only Christ to life, really. really? And they, 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 they know not the way that they don't know the Bible. Judges of Psalms 50 and 16. So the so-called white man is not the teaching of Bible. He was never chosen as a service of the Most High. The Greeks and the Romans were never biblical living people. They were pagans. They don't know the laws of the Most High. And the so-called Jews, according to Revelation 2, 9 and Revelation 3, 9, are not the biblical Israelites. They are the descendants of the Ashkenazis and the Khazars who converted to Judaism, which came from our Torah. They made the books like the Kabbalah, which is an abomination. And they made them all the so-called of the ancient Israelites into a religion called Jewishism, which is a white man's concept and lie of the truth that's recorded in the biblical law of the Bible. We don't know this. Nor abide in the past that they were walking the light of the Bible. The so-called white man does not keep the laws of the Most High in the Roman Church or in this government. What do they do? They make a law to themselves. They make up penal laws. And they make up penal laws in the church so that rapists can get off. Child molesters can get off. Homosexual priests can rape people in the congregation and they're not arrested. Because that's against the most high law, but it's supposed to be God bearing people. But what God are you dealing with? You're dealing with Satan. Satan. Alright? So we don't know. And abide in not in the past thereof. The murderer rising from the light killeth the poor. Killeth the poor. And he and in the night at the feet there. That's how they came. When they came in 1492, they rose up in the Bible because they got hold of our records of the Bible. Right. And they were holding on to our records, and when they came, they had the Bible. And that's true in history. But they came with the what? The cross or tanks. Right? They destroyed Montezuma. They went down there to the Philippine Islands. They went down into the Polynesians. They went into Africa. Hey, man. Call it Africa after they were giving up Octocomus. Destruction of animals in 212, the so called white man has been murdering, murdering, and robbing people, and it's putting up the Bible as a front. Uh -huh. Bible in one hand, sword in the other, the other hand. And then he had that cross. Let me show you what it says in the two Babylon by Alexander Tyson on page 197. Let me show you where the cross came from, the heart. It is old. Take the paragraph. It says that such superstition is merely in the sign of the cross. Such as a worship at Rome pays to a whip or metal cross. If it grew out of the same of form, God forbid that I should glory, seeing the cross of our Lord Christ. That in the doctrine of Christ, crucified, is merely uh, a A shallow subject to this and if a man well, does he learn his gun? The so called sign of the cross, the worship bestowed on it, never came in as such of sorts. The same sign of the cross that rolled now of worship was used in Babylonian mystery, was supplied by David to the same magic purposes, was honored in the same time. That which is now for, for the Christian cross was originally of the Chaldeans and the Egyptians. Mm. God. The true origin of the letter
Janice. This is an Egyptian demon. Look at these demons in Egypt. Babylonian demons. 